Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from uh, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4. Let me read that for you. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. The, the Apostle John here is um, warning us to not to believe everything that you hear. And we need to take heed of that, especially today when we live in a world of many truths. You know, I always thought there was one truth, but in our world today, there seems to be many truths. I mean, you'll see things on TV sometimes, and then someone will tell you not to believe what you saw, because what you saw, there is an alternate reality that there is an alternate truth to what you just saw to be, to be true. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> now, let me read um, here the... The apostle is talking specifically and warning the church against apostates, false teachers and false prophets, false doctrine that has entered into the church from these folk that were amongst them, that went out from them, but were not of them. Listen to what he says, verse, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you will know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and now already in the world. Verse 4, our verse for today again. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. I like the last portion of, of verse 4. I mean, I often hear people say, Greater is he that is in you, or greater is he that is in me, than he that is in the world, as to speak that I have certain power to overcome anything that comes my way. And it is true. You have real power dwelling within you, for know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is dwelling on the inside of you, that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is dwelling inside of each and every true believer. But in the context in which it is given here is that you have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you to be able to overcome the false teaching that has been presented to you, especially if you are a true child of God and you are in the word of God, the Holy Spirit will give you the discernment to know when you are being taught the wrong thing. Listen, it says here, we, we get from this, is that false teachers is not something new. It was evident, apostasy was evident in the very beginning, it seems, of the church in the very first century. False prophets, false teaching was there. And we find it even more so today. I remember when I was in um, Zimbabwe, uh, uh, well, been many years ago now, that there arose a prophet in the land and just hundreds of thousands of people were fleeing to hear him speak. And he had all this charisma. He's very persuasive and appealing and people were just drawn to him. But you need to be really careful when you're around people that say they have a word from the Lord and yet their word does not line up with this word that is the Bible, the word of God. And they may sound very reasonable in the things that they say and the but it's full of error. They deny the truth about God. They deny the truth about Jesus. They deny the truth about the word of God. If a person has been truly born of God, he has the Holy Spirit dwelling within him that will help him to see the error that is being taught. Notice again in our verse that it says, um, the words it has in there that you have overcome them, that you who are true believers have overcome these false prophets. And how is that so? Because greater is he that is in you. That is that the Holy Spirit will not fail that is in you. Those who are truly born of God will confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he came in the flesh. Those that are truly born of God, will confess in the incarnation of Christ. They will confess in his righteousness that he lived a perfect and a sinful, sinless life. They will confess in the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. They will confess 
that he ascended into heaven and now sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. You know, when I was in seminary, there were people that were students that were there, and uh, they said that they didn't believe in the incarnation, that they didn't believe in the virgin birth, that they did not believe in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. <laughs> they didn't believe in that. And yet, they want to stand and they want to train and go and stand in somebody's pulpit and teach them some foolishness that doesn't even line up with the word of God. You see, they saw what they were doing as a vocation, as a job, or about to do as a job. Whereas God calls us to serve as preachers and teachers and pastors. But yet, you need to be aware that there are some people that, that, that view this as nothing more than a job. That they're not committed to the word of God more than, than, than anything else. And then they just go through and kind of pick out those things that sound good, those things that they lack, like, and the things that they don't like, they just kind of disregard. Listen, the Bible is not some buffet where you go down and pick out this thing that you like and that thing that you don't like, you just throw away. No, it is the word of God. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit that dwells in us today that are true believers, for greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would have a wonderful day as you go throughout this day. It is a beautiful day. I'm looking out the one that is in front of me. Uh, it's a beautiful day, and I pray that you would get out and enjoy this day, and that you would test the Spirit. Don't believe everything that you hear. Test the Spirit by the Spirit to see if that Spirit is of God. Because there are many false prophets that have gone out, many false teachers that are out there. And their purpose is to uh, dissuade you about the things of God. There's not many truths. There's one truth. And it is the word of the living God. Amen. Have a great day.